Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Matic. Matic is doing really, really well at the moment and it has come back again into the yellow target area where we were before. Um, so just a little bit of history. If you haven't seen my previous videos, when we were at the top here and coming down there, gave you this as ideal target area for a wave two to the downside. We did hit that even though we only touched it at the upper um, upper end, yeah, but we did touch it and we came into the target area slightly. Then in the next move here to the upside, um, I gave you that as a next target area. We did come into it very, very slightly, but we did. Um, and then we came down, gave you some uh, another target area for this support. I did tell you that if we go below this um, range here, below this target area here, we drop below that, then it could potentially uh, invalidate or it will in invalidate this bullish scenario within which we are. Uh, we didn't get below it though and we found support exactly in this target area at the low this was also where on discord i had set um, my buy order at 178 and there was another one at 195 i think they were both triggered in that move down here if you want to see by the way buy and sell orders for various cryptos that i cover on this channel you can check out my discord if you're a channel member you need to join as at least as a silver member um, to get access to Discord and the Telegram live chat and a weekly live stream. Um, and you can do that on my website in the link you can find in the description or you can do it here next to the subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, but it's not short term trade. So these are range, well, um, longer term, you know, not too long, but they are like swing trading um, buy and sell orders that I set dollar cost averaging in and dollar cost averaging out at certain levels. And this has worked out um, very well, bought pretty much at the low here. And today the next sell order did trigger at 260. This was exactly at the, the peak, um, but it did trigger because it did go a little bit higher than 260 today. It all the way up to 261, I think here on um, Coinbase. So that was set and that triggered perfectly at the high again. Very, very nice to see. And my next um, sell order will be a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, we are back in this range. We made a higher high to the previous high. For me at the moment, this makes it more likely that we continue to go to the upside. And you know that I've been bullying, bullish on Matic. In my last video, I showed you the possibility because the structure here looked a bit uh, corrective that we actually <clears throat> could also not reach that target area again, but this didn't happen. So it was bullish enough to move further up here. Um, again, buy and sell orders are set, so that looks good. And I did tell you before that if we really manage to get into the target area here again, and if we find support down here and don't drop lower than this support area, then this could be confirmation that we really push much higher here towards $4 um, because of the structure that you have here. So if we start counting from, from the low there, which for some reason we can't see here at the moment because the uh, int internet seems to be not updating here the chart, doesn't matter. We started down here with a wave one, came down in a wave two to the downside, moving up in a wave three, and there you go, the internet is gone. Well, anyway, um, in moving up in a wave three, coming down in a wave four and a wave five to the upside. But the way how we did this within here, we basically came down too far. So this here, what I marked then as a blue wave one, which normally would have been a wave three. First of all, the wave three would have been too short probably, but also we came down too much. So this was not a wave three and a wave four because with a wave four, you can't get into the target area of wave one. So this is a wave one and two within that larger, within that white wave one and two. Yeah, and now the white wave three actually. Within that wave three, you have a, a blue, a lower degree, wave one and two and again we moved up here came down too fast so you've got another lower degree wave one and two and what do we do now we're coming up again will this be another wave one and two so you've got a lot of these wave one two setups which if you have too many normally it's not very likely that you push up but having many can also mean if it works out bullish that this is really really bullish and this can really push the price up much higher because it is an indicator of an extended wave three if you have an extended wave three the wave three will be longer that can without problems go to four dollars um also so yeah we can expect something good here for matic and um would i buy in now personally i wouldn't buy in more now because i did set my buy orders lower but it's up to everybody individually um that's just what i would do I, uh, yeah i do expect now prices to go up higher um i do um so it's up to everybody you know 
but I, I did set my buy orders lower and they did trigger so uh, I did make you aware of that. Um, on the daily we are not overbought yet so we have potential to push up higher. Also on the daily MACD we can see that we have a bullish cross here yeah? so we are moving back into the green here on the MACD which is positive as well. So yeah Matic is doing really well and what I need to add now um, it has increased the possibilities in my view and the, the probability to move up higher here because um, Bitcoin is starting to move up now slowly as well and I you know, I, I do expect the continuation for Bitcoin, um, even though it's not 100%, you know, it's not confirmed yet, but we see good signs, the first signs that Bitcoin is starting to move up. For example, on the Bitcoin chart, on the daily, you see a bullish crossover on the MACD as well. And we've got this Elliott Wave count, which in my view is still the most likely one to push to the upside for Bitcoin. And then I think a lot of the other cryptos are going to follow. So Matic, for example, in an environment here where other cryptos are going up as well. Medic will follow and Medic is already steaming ahead and did perform really well in the last few weeks. Didn't drop below the key support here at 175. So it did hold that and we've been moving up now and it's looking good actually. Yeah? Um, a re rejection here at this level was totally expected where we are currently. Um, that is also why I set my buy order there um, because, uh, sorry, my sell order there. Um, because this is an important FIB level. I, I would need to put the FIBs on here again, but it was a, um, a Fibonacci level. And this yellow target area is basically surrounded by two um, Fibonacci levels. So from here at around 255, you know, uh, or two, yeah, 255 to the upside here of <clears throat> above, just above $3. That's the target area where I would expect um, the price to get into. It did already come into it again, but I would expect it to come into it again, um, maybe even higher and then get the correction to the wave four. But when, without knowing where the wave three will end, it's hard to see, to calculate the correction of the wave four. So I'll keep you updated. I guess we will push a little bit higher and then we get a confirmed retracement here. I will keep you updated about the price target of wave four. And then we still have wave five to go, which is um, all looking good. So Medic looking nice uh, at the moment. And um, you know, we obviously retracing now. So from there, if we just take a final look here on the four hour chart. Then it was cut off a little bit here um, on Coinbase. But yeah, I wouldn't expect a very strong retracement now, to be honest. Um, we take here from the low to the high at just above 260. So, you know, we've got certain key support levels that we can now um, see, you know, that will will probably be um, run, you know, the price will go to. Certainly the first one being the 248 level, the 0.214 FIB level, and then 239 is the 0.382 FIB level, and then 232. I wouldn't expect the price to go down lower than 232. Um, that is basically because this was a previous high. Um, this is the 232 level, yeah, the 0.5 FIB level. But ideally, I would expect the support to find support here at 0.214 FIB, so at 248, or at 239, which is the 0.382 FIB, where also we had these wicks to the upside. Um, that's my view on Matic, looking good at the moment. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. If you wanna join as a channel member, um, you can find a link to my website in the description, and also you can find the membership join button. If you jo wanna join on YouTube, you can find that next to the subscribe button and then you can see my buy and sell orders that I keep updating and I'm keep adding different cryptos onto that as well going forward. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.